Look at this. What is this? Why do we need to wrap a cucumber in plastic covering that is not yet recyclable? I was gonna make some food, but instead, by the looks of things, all I'm gonna do is make a pile of non-recyclable mess. So, let's go fix this. The companies who are making these products could just stop. They could not put any plastic covering on them because there's really no need for them. You know, veg is from the ground or from the earth. It is dirty anyway. So wrapping it isn't going to make it any cleaner. It isn't going to sanitize it or keep it out of harm's way or getting damaged. If anything, it's going to make it worse because within these plastic, Traps, they sweat and then they go off a lot quicker. Why do we keep them in the fridge so they last longer? You keep them in a plastic container like that, they will not last as long because they will sweat themselves inside. There comes a point where you need to take it into your own hands. So let's go shopping and see how we can fix this. <laughs> Story on the bag. I got it two years ago, or no, four years ago now, in Nicaragua, and it cost the equivalent of about 10 pence, but it served me well because it's got this little handle here, like a shopping bag, or you can sling it over your shoulder like a strap. So I'd really recommend getting one of these bags because they're just really handy when you go shopping and you don't have to get single use plastic bags. This is a fruit and veg shop and I wasn't allowed to film in it because the lady didn't have permission, but I got a couple of snippets on my phone to show you what the inside is like. And as you can notice, there's very little plastic coverings in sight. Just went to the fruit and veg shop and I got everything I needed for the curry. Now I'm gonna to go to a different shop and get the exact same things and see how the prices compare. Just arrived at the supermarket and I'm gonna do the same shop as I did in the fruit and veg one, but we're gonna see how this shop compares in price. This is one of the cheapest supermarkets in the UK. It is very well renowned for that. It rhymes with riddle. I can't take the camera in unfortunately, but I'll see you on the other side and we'll do a little comparison when I get out. Okay, I've just been to the shop and I got the receipt right here. So we're gonna go back and count up the difference in price. Okay, I'm back from my shop and I've got two bags by here. This is the one from the unnamed branded supermarket and this is the one from the fruit and veg shop. So, Let's do the fruit and veg shop first. So I've written all the prices down on my phone because the lady didn't have a receipt, which is great because less paper. So let's get to it. The first one we have in here is an onion. 15 pence for an onion. Broccoli is the next one. Broccoli, we got one pound 22 for a broccoli. Garlic, garlic's the next one. It's 59p for a little, well, a big clove of garlic. Next one is a pepper. So a pepper comes in about four, no, 84 pence for a pepper. Garlic, now it depends on the size you got, but I got this amount by here. It's quite, it's quite a large amount and I got it for one pound 42. And then carrot, I did get a couple more than this, but this is roughly for one carrot, it costs 20 pence. Okay, there's that one done. Now let's compare that to the one from the supermarket. So I've got the receipt here, and we're gonna go through it again. So I did get a couple other things, so I need to look and find the right ones now. So we've got a broccoli, broccoli, 65 pence, but what we got here, it's covered in plastic. Okay, next one we got peppers. You get three peppers and you get three peppers for 82 pence. You got some ginger by here, but it's only a little bit of ginger. 
and that is 22 pence. And then the last one is the clove, clove of garlic right here. The clove of garlic was 39 pence. I didn't get any onions or carrots, but I'm gonna put up a video now which I took in the shop sneakily on my phone of the price of them. So as you can see, it's about 55p for three onions and it's about 65p for a big plastic bag of carrots. Now I understand that this may be a little more expensive going to a fruit and veg shop, but however this is more organic nutritional fruit and veg. It hasn't traveled as far, it hasn't sat around in processing or sorting areas. It has gone straight from the farmer to the shop to your plate. Now it doesn't lose the nutritional value. Whereas if you look at the supermarket versions, they're, they've been sitting there for God knows how long and they don't have as much nutritional value and you don't know where it's sourced from. Okay, so here I have the results of the two different price comparisons. So we'll go with the first one and that's the fruit and veg shop. The overall total of the shop cost four pound and 42 pence. Okay, and the unbranded supermarket costs two pound 46 pence. So that is about a two pound saving if you go to the supermarket and you probably get a bit more for your money. However, you should be able to support local. I know some families won't be able to do this, but if you have the money to do it, you should be able to shop locally and nutritionally. I think it has a massive effect on where you get your fruit and veg is how you feel and the way you act. And if you shop local for it, you'll feel much better for it. And it, the, the meal will have more satisfaction and more flavor because you know where it came from. Now, I'm not saying go out there and buy everything from a fruit and veg shop. You know, this isn't gonna be accessible to everybody. But I think you should give it a go and you should try because you'll find unique fruit and veg that you've never even had before and it'll push you in a way to be more creative with your cooking. That is what my last video was all about, becoming vegan. And if you, you can become vegan and you can eat all the different meat products, fake meat products out there. But like I said, you should try and stick to the fruit and veg and be nutritional about it and this is one of the best ways of doing it is to go into your local fruit and veg shop because you don't only have support local but you support seasonal seasonal fruit and veg and you you come across a, a array of different fruit and veg so i'm saying i think you should give it a go because you should be able to not buy all these different products covered in plastic and it will weigh on your conscience of the waste you will create of these not yet recyclable products. You know, what, why isn't it recyclable yet? You know, you need to take it into your own hands and take accountability for your own actions. And this is one way of doing it if you want to live a more sustainable life. So go out there and cook something different today. Go on, I dare you. It's time to take this matter into our own hands and this is one way of doing it. So let's go out there and make the change we all want to see. How did you get that cut on your phone? This one. Cut it with this knife, chopping some ginger the other day.
watching this video. I really appreciate you giving me the support and watching these videos and I hope you like them. And if you did like them, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, I love talking about fruit and veg and being vegan and it really, it fills me with joy hearing other people's stories. So if you have anything else to weigh in on this matter, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. But until the next one, see ya.